is Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my empties. I have quite a bit in front of me. Um, I did one of these pretty recently, like a month or two ago, and I did it more of a like this in, this out type situation, so I'll link that down below and up above. But these items today are more a mixture of holy grail, some that I did talk about in that video just because just to show I really do go through them that much. And also the anomalies, the brand might not be things that I've repurchased, but I might have repurchased like that product type or maybe it's things I've never tried before and I used it up and I have thoughts. <laughs> so if you want to get um, some product reviews and to see what I've actually been going through, then just keep watching, here we go. All right guys. Like I said in the intro, we got a lot happening here and I really want to film another beauty room clean with me because you guys enjoy them, they do well on my channel, but I need to get some of the stuff out of here. So like I need to get the empties out, I got some trash that are like boxes that makeup came in, I need to get that out of here, I need to clean my brushes. So. We're, we're on a journey here, and I want to share everything in this bin with you guys before um, I get rid of it. So my dog Morty is eating. He's a 13-year-old Pomeranian, so if you hear a dog eating, he's right here. Um, this bin is from Target. It was like, I don't know, a couple of dollars a while back. I like that you can like turn the things and it's like stackable, but anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna grab and go. I did not organize this and these videos tend to be a little bit longer so I'll try to keep that in mind as I am filming. <laughs> so the first thing is the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Lavender Scent Lotion. So this lavender scent is pretty much a holy grail to their line and it's always been a soap or a spray or a hand lotion or hand soap, dish soap type thing. But they came out with it in a lotion and it does not disappoint. It's the exact same scent and also the formula for um, being a more natural brand is very thin so it absorbs easily. Some of these type of more natural lotions don't absorb that well but this one was good. I did repurchase it but I accidentally got the lemon scent and I, the formula is exactly the same but I feel like cleaners, like a cleaner when I put it on and I'm like God, why did I do it because I'm going to use it up. But um, I do a scale on my empties, I haven't done it in a while, but I call it the meh scale. So 10 is like the best of the best, holy grail, and 0 is like meh, like meh, you know, and 5 is just in the middle. So I would say this is an, obviously a 9 because I repurchased it right away. Um, and I get it from Grove Collaborative. I do get their monthly cleaning. I just love getting things sent to me monthly, even if it's cleaning products. <laughs> Um, but anyways, next up is another more natural cleaning product. This is the Alba Ver Very Emollient Body Lotion. This is the Unscented Original. This is a 10. I repurchased this so many times from Vitacost because that's like the cheapest place to get it. Um, the only negative, negative is the packaging. Like when it gets here, the pump won't get it anymore. So it's a full time job getting it out. And sometimes I'm just like, I can't anymore. I'm sorry. I love you. I'll repurchase you, but I can't. <laughs> so this is a 10. I'll repurchase it at some point. Um, but I just haven't yet. So, all right, now we're going to go into face masks. I have two that are from the Yes To brand. And what I like about these face masks from any brand is they're so affordable. It's just like a fun way to treat yourself. Or if you're placing an order online and you need to hit like the shipping minimum, you can throw these on and they're really nice. So these in particular is the Yes To Cucumber Calming Sleep Mask. So they're both sleeping masks. And the other one is the Vitamin C Boosting Sleep Mask. So what a sleep mask is, is you do your uh, skincare as you would in the evening and then you put this on and you go to sleep in it and then you wash it off in the morning. It's super nice. These are affordable and the only thing I would say about them is you could really squeeze two uses out for both of these because I there was like months in between using each of them. I forgot. But I put it all on my face each time. I'm like, this is too much. So if you buy these get two uses out of them and don't try to put all of this on your face like I did because then you're just like wasting it you're wiping it on a towel because it won't absorb into your skin anymore. Um, these are nice. These are five like 
like I said, they're just nice to have, but nothing was like life changing about those. Then I got these Master Lab Intensive Hydrating a Hydroclonic. A hyaluronic acid mask. These are from um, Tony Moly from Ulta. Someone uh, had told me to get these. I posted on my personal Facebook page that, hey guys, I'm on. A oh, this was the end of summer when I was on a long road trip, and I was like, hey, I'm uh, shopping on Ulta because I'm going on a trip. What should I get? And this is what someone suggested to me. So this is a face mask that you leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. It's nice, but I didn't notice anything happen so it's a five like it's nice I would repurchase it but I didn't notice like any instant hydration or anything different from using it but I did enjoy it next this is a 10 this is the Mario Badescu um this particular particular one <laughs> is the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water love these I use them every day and night and I already have more of that but I wanted to get through um, kind of my older ones just to rotate through product. Then, let's see, this is a holy grail. This is the Meyer Smoothing Shave Gel with Soy. This is the Aveeno knockoff. I always end up getting the Aveeno knockoff, and this has been a 10, but um, I have been using my boyfriend's uh, shower or shave gel, and I think I like the men's shave gel better. So I might just end up getting that in the future. <laughs> so this is a 10. This is Shiseido Facial Cottons. Where I am in love with these. I've already repurchased and I'm halfway through that package. And I'll repurchase more. I only use it really to put toner on my face every morning. And then I will use it if I can't get the mascara off my eyes. So I don't use it a lot. So this bag will last me a while. It's $10. Some people say that's a lot. Some people say it's justifiable. I think it's worth it. So I do keep repurchasing it. Alright, next is another holy grail, um, my toothpaste. I always like to throw this in because people ask me a lot about my teeth because they are so white and it's not really genetic like in my family to have teeth this white. It totally is my maintenance of my teeth. So I floss every morning, I brush twice a day, and I get my six month cleanings. And on top of that, I don't really do anything. I drink a lot of water through the day. I keep my like dark um, liquids like coffee and doc Dr. Pepper's like my go-to Coke or soda or pop, whatever you want to call it. And so I only have coffee in the morning and then one Dr. Pepper, like I get like the eight ounce cans. So I'll get that, I don't know, once a day or a few times a week. And so I, I don't drink a lot of dark liquids and so that's another thing and I don't drink red wine. So that's kind of like in a nutshell how my teeth are so white. I've never done like a bleaching thing or anything like that on them. Um, so what I use in the morning is the Tom's um, Anti-Plaque and Whitening Peppermint. And so I always get the whitening one and I use this in the morning every morning just because it's more gentle on my teeth especially like since I haven't like eaten much at that point um, I just want something more natural and then in the afternoon because by that point I have like you know eating drinking all day so I use the Crest 3D white I get the Arctic Fresh or the whitening whatever one this one is huge huge I went for a while like trying to be like all natural with my toothpaste and I can I noticed a difference not using this I had to go back and so this is super harsh for your teeth super super harsh for your teeth that's why I only use it once a day so if you use this twice a day you might want to find a more gentle kind to use for the other time um so I don't that's just my recommendation to you. I'm not a dentist, obviously, but... Um, and then I have two more Holy Grail items in here, and then the rest are just kind of like odds and ends type things. So next up is my Andalou Naturals. This is a 10. This is the Thousand Roses Daily Shape. I'll switch up maybe like the kind, like the Roses one's my favorite, but I'll get whatever's on sale or whatever is where I'm at when I need to buy it. And I love this because it has low SPF of 15 but it just absorbs super nicely into my skin and makeup lays well on top of it so I love that and then I have two of these I just dropped the other one um this is um Jack Black lip balm and it is the natural mint and shea butter I use these um every morning for sure 
and then I will use them um, a few times through the day. I like it because it nourishes my lips and it heals them, but it doesn't make me feel like I need to apply it all day long like some things will. On like chapstick or like some brands of lip balms they're, they're like drying your lips out more so you have to apply more those don't do that like I'm truly fine just putting it on in the morning and then if it's like you know super like cold outside or I'm dehydrated something like that it's nice to wear in those situations as well all right so moving on to the items that are more of the anomalies first up is the um, this is Andalou Naturals as well and it's from the same Thousand Roses um, line. Here's what it looks like. So this is actually their night cream. And they have the whole line of skincare in this. And I did enjoy this night cream. It wasn't anything special. Like, I don't feel like I need to keep repurchasing it. Like, I feel that way about the day cream. But it's a nice go-to Andalou, Derma-E, and um, there's another brand that's like that. They're all kind of interchangeable to me. I've loved everything I've gotten from them. Um, but I, I don't always look. Okay. I love and have enjoyed everything, but not everything has become holy grails, if that makes sense. But, and they're a very affordable option to more natural skincare. Um, okay, then we have, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. I got a sampler of these a while back. I'm going to focus in the smaller things for you guys. But I am trying to finish up this. If you watch my rolling project pans, I'll link it down below and up above. But I've been like really trying to work through these. I didn't want to waste them and I just have a couple more left. This one, the in particular, the cucumber gel, it's just like, um, yeah, it's more like, you know, my skin's doing great, but I feel like masking. Let me let me put it on. It's more like that. Like you're not really gonna get a lot out of it, really. But it's like it's good. I wouldn't pay like the Peter Thomas Roth price tag for that. Let me, you guys can see the top of that. Let me, let me get that out of the way. All right, next, this is the Clinique Take the Day oh, Day Off Cleansing Balm. I really enjoyed this cleansing balm. I actually have become a cleansing balm fan for removing my makeup. So um, I'm going to talk about another one. I did not repurchase this one. Clinique's ingredients are not clean enough for me. When it comes to skincare, I'm really particular about the ingredients as far as not having parabens, not having sulfates, not having perfumes. And this one isn't awful as far as that goes, but it's not great. And with my makeup, I'm not as picky about that stuff. But the things that are actually absorbing into my skin, like I know foundation does absorb a little bit into your skin, but I want the layer between my skin and my makeup to be as natural as possible or as good for me as possible. So I do like this. This is good. Um, I haven't really been rating these last few things. They're more all like in the five to eight range. Um, I would repurchase this. I was satisfied with it, but the ingredients concerned me a little bit. So another thing I got was this um, Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And this came to me in um, Influencer sent to me for review for free and this wasn't even the item that was being reviewed It was kind of more of them wanting me to try out their products It was actually a mask that I really needed to review, but I really enjoyed this I like that it's gentle I like that it has better ingredients and I like that it's a little bit higher end but for a pretty good price point. It's within the same ballpark as Clinique, and I would consider Clinique kind of middle of the road as far as not being drugstore, but not being super high end. It's kind of right in the middle. That's kind of where Mary Kay lives, um, and a few other brands. Their Mac, I think, is kind of in that area as well. But um, I really like this, and with the Sephora recent appreciation 15% off, I couldn't really figure out what to get, and I was thinking about the Clinique, but I was kind of unsure about it, but then I watched Tara Babes, Babes <laughs> video, and she was showing what she got, and she got the big size of this, and she really likes it, and she's gone through a few, and I, then I remembered I had that little sample, and I was like, yes, that's what I'm going to get. So I did purchase it. It will be here soon whenever the order gets here. It was $34, and then I got 15% off on top of that, and that will last me a while, so I'm excited for it, and I think that's really good, and it's a lot thinner than the Clinique one, which, you know, it's just like, eh, whatever. It's fine. 
this, this, this. Okay, Jared just got home and the dogs went crazy, but I think we're, I think we're good now. So the thing that I was, this is a zero, like I absolutely hate it. It's pure lip exfoil, exfoliator. <laughs> I can, exfoliator. Po, po, I can never, that's like one word I can never say. I think it's exfoliator. Exfoil. Oh, holy. Holy. <laughs> I can never say that word, but that's what this is. This is what it looks like. And it's just one of those, like, you rub it on your lips and then scrub it off. What I... Let me see. What I dislike about it is the smell, and then it, like, is in my mouth for, like, ten minutes. And I, it's, like, it's the grossest smell ever. It's real gross. Ex exfoliator. Is it getting on it? Yeah, it's, it's getting on Exfoliator. it. Exfoliator. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like the acting coach is? He's my acting coach. No, you're doing really well. Thank you're you. Doing really well. Thank you. Yeah. Not that I'm acting, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> all right. If you watched my um my skincare haul where my friend Jasmine gave me all of her skincare because she's like, girl, I found the ordinary and it's amazing. So here, take the rest of this. <laughs> I have a couple of items. I'll link that video up above and down below, but I finished a couple of things from there. The first one is the Drunk Elephant V Hydra Intense Hydration Gel, and there was only about a week's worth of use in it. It looks like this. It wasn't enough for me to really get an opinion out of it, but what I can say about it is it did not irritate my skin. <laughs> so that's great, and I honestly, don't know anything about Drunk Elephant as far as like their ingredients. Like I want to believe they're better for you ingredients, but I honestly don't really know. So <laughs> another item is Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus. Oh my gosh, the fragrance in this is too much. It's absolutely too much. The product itself was nice and I like that it was hydrating and left me like illuminating. Would you like? Oh my god, I felt him looking at me. <laughs> Would you like a strawberry daiquiri? No. <laughs> you know when you feel someone staring at you and you're like... <laughs> he wasn't back staring at me. <laughs> He's been, uh, he was sick all weekend and you know that feeling of like when you are no longer sick and your energy is coming back? He's feeling that right now. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so the Estee Lauder, the fragrance is too much. Like, I would never purchase this because of the fragrance in it. It's very, like, floral or... I don't really know. It's just, like, that high-end perfume smell. Um, but outside of that, it really didn't irritate me. Did that get in the way? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Outside of that, it didn't really irritate my skin that much, so I really did enjoy that, but I would never repurchase, but it was good. I was not disappointed. Here's Dermalogica Multivitamin Vitamin Power Recovery Mask. This is one of those masks that, like, when you put it on, you let it sit, and then you take it off, you feel like it did something. Like, you felt it working, and your skin feels good afterwards. It does smell like um, paint, like the Wet n Wild um, foundation, so I don't know what ingredient in there provides that smell to us, <laughs> but I will not purchase it because of that. But I've heard such good things about this brand. I don't know, but smells are important, it's especially if the smell is there due to fragrance and fake chemicals being added. Can I see it? Oh, yeah. So Jared is an artist, so he'll check the paint. But the, you have to, um... Titanium dioxide is, is what I'm guessing, but... It doesn't have the ingredient, you'll have to Google it. Really? Because it's just a sample. Alright, I'm on that. Do you need to take it with you so you know what to Google? Dermalogica. They have a lot. Yeah. You gotta get that mask. I, I would like for us to come together and maybe have a page all on makeup and paint and how that's made. The people are ready to see you, so is whenever right? you're ready. I'm a mystery. <laughs> I know you guys, unless you follow me on Instagram, have never seen his face. <laughs> or do you want to? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, okay, these last two items, I kind of wanted to do a video focused on them, but I just, like, <sighs> it's too much. <laughs> so, my scalp is dry, psoriasis all over. I've had it my whole life. 
and so psoriasis or eczema it's an immunity thing and so like you really need I'm not a derm I'm not like a, a, a doctor in this so don't don't like take what I'm saying as fact but from what I've gathered from my 30 <laughs> Two, 31 years on this planet and my dry scalp being with me all 31 years is it is an immune thing and unless you get like something to help like uh, internal medicine to help there isn't a lot that um products can do except to alleviate relieve what are words um alleviate 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 okay <laughs> I'm going to leave that in there because... Well, it depends on what you're going to say. I struggle with words all day long just because my mind is, like, so fast. Like, my mouth can't keep up with what I'm saying or thinking. Um, are you about to turn that blender on? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Tuesday turn up, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... So what I have found is products don't necessarily make it feel better or heal it, but I have found things that don't irritate it as much. So I kind of wanted to do a separate video about this, but the hype of it, people don't really care anymore. So it's like the trend is gone. Alleviate. <laughs> but, alleviate? Relieviate. Relieviate? That's not a word. <laughs> not. So it's this is word, um, Monet. This is one of those direct sale products. Um like Mary Kay and my friend at work so I saw all the hype on YouTube and then my friend at work started selling it so I thought I would try it and it's an all natural product that kind of changes the oil chemistry on your head I don't know the pro is it really did calm my scalp like I didn't have as many flakes I didn't have like it was just calm like it wasn't as itchy and all that stuff but this is really expensive and the biggest negative of why I won't keep repurchasing it is it does not do well with color treated hair which obviously my hair is color treated it strips the color out and when you're spending a lot of money to get your hair done regularly you can't be using a product that is gonna strip the color out so I think if I decided to stop color treating my hair I would go back to this because it was the calmest thing I've had on my scalp but I really like what's happening here so I'm gonna choose the color over that but that's where I am with it okay and the final thing is and I still have a little bit of the shampoo in the bathroom that's why it's not here but this is the Moroccan oil hydrating conditioner and I had used this in the past but it was really something that I use once in a while because it is so expensive I would try to like spread it out but this time around because I had spent so much on this because this is about 37 each if not more I could be like lowballing that um, it kind of like burst the bubble that I'm like, all right, let's 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 spend some money here. And so this, I bought it and then I was just using it as my full-time shampoo and conditioner. And this really irritates my scalp. I think it's the fra fragrance in it. Um, I'm not, I should try to figure out what ingredient really irritates. I know sulfates and parabens do, so I absolutely cannot use those. Well, the last time I used head and shoulders, it literally caught my, my scalp on fire, not flames but like it was so irritated and red that I have to stay away from all that type stuff but this super irritates my scalp as well I have Kevin Murphy right now super irritates my scalp in the same way but it's good for blonde hair so I spread that out the right now I'm using the Briogeo Briogeo and it's calming to my scalp but it's super expensive but it does calm my scalp so that's kind of like where I'm at right now but yeah that is all of my empties like I said I wanted to do like a dedicated video to this and if you still want to see one I can talk about it more but um I just wanted to get these products out of here because I've been holding on to them for a while I really hope you appreciated this in the mini reviews hopefully it was helpful to you especially if you suffer from dry skin and scalp issues like I do hopefully it can kind of like guide you in a direction to feeling more like comfortable <laughs> but anyways thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye